Hello, Orca. Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Appleyard. We are continuing to study Asian American and Pacific Island American Heritage Month, this time with a book called Be Bim Bop by Linda Sue Park. Linda Sue Park is a Korean American author. Her family was from South Korea, but she was born and raised outside of Chicago in the state of Illinois. This is the title page of Bibim Bop. Behind me is Luna the dog. And I have a message written here that says, this book was used with permission by the publishers Houghton, Mifflin, Harcourt. So we are following all the copyright laws as I do this read aloud. Linda Sue Park is another one of my favorite authors. She's written many, many books, a lot more than I have included here. Some of these I ha we have in the library at Orca, and some of them you might have read. Most of her books take place in ancient Korea, uh, but she also has one that takes place in the Sudan called A Long Walk to Water. She has a book that um, takes place right outside of Chicago, Project Mulberry. Um, she's also written some, some fantasy books, and my very favorite is the one that is the biggest one that I included here called Prairie Lotus. I'm actually reading it right now. It's her newest book. Uh, she wrote it and it just came out this year. And I don't know if you know uh, Little House on the Prairie, but it's basically another take on Little House on the Prairie, except for the main character is Asian, Asian American. Now I'm going to begin the story. Almost time for supper, rushing to the store. Mama buys the groceries. More, Mama, more. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Gotta shop, shop, shop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee-bim-bop. Home and in the kitchen, eggs to stir and fry. Mama catch the spatula, flip, the eggs high. And there's her mom flipping the eggs. Looks like this recipe calls for a flat omelet. Hurry, mama, hurry, gotta flip, flip, flop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bibim bop. Rice is on the boil, bubbling in the pot, white and sticky lickety, steaming good and hot. Hurry, flurry, rice, got a pop, pop, pop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bibim bop. Here's her mom chopping away. Look at that knife go. She's very fast with the knife. Mama's knife is shiny, slicing fast and neat. Garlic and green onions, skinny strips of meat. Hurry, Mama, hurry, gotta chop, chop, chop. Hungry, very hungry for some bee bim bop. Spinach, sprouts, and carrots. Each goes in a pan. Let me pour the water in. Yes, I know I can. There's the little girl helping. See how she helps. Luna loves this page. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Got a mop, mop, mop. Hungry in a hurry for some bee bim bop. Bowls go on the table, big ones striped in blue. I help set the glasses out, spoons and chopsticks too. See how helpful she is. Dog is waiting patiently too. Hurry, family, hurry, gotta hop, hop, hop. Dinner's on the table and it's bee bim bop. Rice goes in the middle, egg goes right on top. Mix it, mix like crazy. Time for bee bim bop. The end. And here is a picture of Linda Sue Park making bee bim bop with her children so she knows firsthand how impatient they get and how excited they are to eat it. B 
Bibimbap is a popular Korean dish. And it says here that bop is the Korean word for rice and bibim means mixed up. So bibimbap means mixed up rice. And she also included a recipe at the end of the book. And I like how she does this because she sets it up so that you could make this dish with an adult at home. It says you do this part and then a grown up does another part. So I'm going to include a link to this recipe um, right below where I post the video for your families. So I hope you enjoyed the book and learning a little bit about bibimbap and becoming familiar with the author Linda Sue Park. She actually usually writes for older kids, um, more middle grades, fourth, fifth uh, through middle school. She's a great author and I hope you have a chance to read some of her books and I hope you tried this dish. I also included um, some pictures of it. So let me show you what those look like. Yeah, here are some pictures that I found on Bing and all of the images on Bing um, are available for us to use for educational purposes. They're provided, they're licensed, I should say, by Creative Commons. Anyway, these are um, some different dishes of bibimbap and there's lots of different recipes and unfortunately I'm covering up one of the recipes. Some of the recipes are vegetarian, uh, some of them have meat. Seems like they all involve an egg, but if you didn't eat, eat eggs, that would be okay too. So I hope you try this recipe um, and some other delicious Korean food and continue to enjoy Asian American and Pacific Island American Heritage Month. Bye, I will see you next week. Have a great week. Take care.